Right, yo, what's going on YouTube? How are you guys doing? Welcome to episode 4 of Doki Doki. Now, today, um, I don't know what the fuck I was going to say there, but last episode, sorry, we, uh, found, well, we came to some conclusions, um, we think that Sayuri is deeply depressed, we think that, um, Nizuki is alone, and... Uh, tries is trying to escape from it, but Kaa says she's given up, and we think that Yuri cuts. So, yeah, we have no clue about Monica. She just seems to break the fourth wall a lot, like a lot, lot. So, yeah. But anyway, we're back where we left off. Anyway, so uh, is this about the festival? Fuck yeah, cost this. Right, I've been clicking. I've been clicking X too much. I've been playing Pokemon. Alright, leave me alone. Uh, but, um, yeah, well, uh, sort of. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you really have to do something for this festival? Of course we do. It's not like we can put uh, put anything good in a few days together. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. Uh, I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so I'm gonna try guys. Trust Monica, the fourth wall break. I trust that she knows what she's on about, okay. I love the music as well in this. Have I said that like the music is really like cheerful. <laughs> it's it's mad. Um uh, we're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. She has been working on purses and I've uh, designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Nizuki, uh, no, Nizuki, what? Why did I read her name? I don't even know. I'm so tired. I've literally just woken up. I woke up when I got a bowl of cereal and started recording. That's why my hair looks a mess. That's why, I'm a, that's why I look a mess in general. But yeah, so don't judge. Um, okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Aha, sorry. I thought you would he you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing, but Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a, a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're all going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sherry's so putting uh, putting in on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Uh, Siri, who's been colouring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You don't... You didn't... You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well... I kinda did, so you've got no other choice, biatch. Do you really think this is a bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Nasuki. Grow some fucking iron balls. I get that. You, actually, no, never mind. If you're if you're too shy to do shit like that, then you know you're too shy. But yeah, but grow some iron ball. Okay, <laughs> balls of steel, boys. Uh, if you ever watched that show, that was a great show. I remember I used to watch that all the time with the with the devil guy and the fucking cat cowboy that used to go and like steal someone from a store and run off and get a chase from the security guards. <laughs> I was fucking great. If you've never seen it, search on YouTube. Sorry, search on YouTube. Balls of steel. It's so fucking funny. Um, but anyway, I would never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Siori, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Nasuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone uh, ju until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for from them to recite them. Their poems, sorry, out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I've kind of overlooked it. So, I'm sorry. It's okay, Monica. We forgive you. This is an NSMR, get your head out the clouds, boys. Okay. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the, only ones, we're the ones, only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and need to put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. 
and the more people who perform the better we better be able to show everyone what literature is all about yeah it's about expressing your feelings being intimate with yourself finding new horizons and having fun that's right my man I mean my 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 boy my my female okay <laughs> and it uh, it's those reasons that we're all in this club today don't you want to share that with every with others to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place I know you do I know we all do and if it takes all to stand in front of the room for two minutes and recite a poem then I know you can do it Mizuki and Yuri remain silent Siri looks weird worried I guess that leaves me no choice I agree I don't think it's too much to ask I think that Siri and Monica have, or have been trying really really hard to get new members uh, then the least we can do it is help them out a little bit well maybe but uh, it, it looks like Nizuki doesn't have an argument left okay fine I'll do it for 50 euros right I'm English I live in England but I'll do it for 50 euros that is my payment I just want to go to Disneyland and get a, spend that 50 euros on a fucking cowboy hat because that's how much it costs at Disneyland trust me it does <laughs> I think I paid when I went to Disneyland back like f three years ago now actually I think it was um I spent 50 quid 50 euros on a car on a little uh, cowboy hat with goofy on it it was it was too much it was a lot it was too much money <laughs> for a fucking little cowboy hat but yeah uh, I guess I'll just have to get over it all right let's do it Phew. thanks Suzuki yeah, but what about Yuri? Yeah, yeah. What about Yuri? Yuri directly glances uh, glances around uh, around at everyone else's ex expectant face. All right, that's cool. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha! That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Is this foreshadowing? And no, I'm joking. I don't think, I don't think this is. As bad as a horror as people are making it out to be to be honest I mean it's more of like a a deeper meaning type thing like I think we'll get ba more backstory in all those stories and it'll fuck with our minds a little bit but that'll be about it I don't think it's really a horror I think that's what it meant by psychological horror though I think it'll mean mean that it'll fuck it it'll fuck with your mind so I don't think it's natural genuine horror because I'm just not getting horror vibes from this, you know what I mean? I just it just literally feels like a visual novel. Which isn't a bad thing as well, so Oh my gosh! Okay. So start off from Pride Pie, okay, leave me alone. Uh we'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No 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 way. Monica This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poems in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of the state of strangers? Oh, oh no. Oh no, I must go. <laughs> Sorry. I just see the opportunity and I just say shit, but uh, don't worry. I'll just start, I'll start off to help everyone get a feel, to feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Aha, of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebooks, uh, notebook to to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the, the podium. The start of this poem is the way then they fly. Ahem. Monica begins by saying her poem. Her class confident, her clear confident voice fills the room. More than that, Monica's uh, inflections is, inflection is pristine. Uh, she knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the world words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is, or is she simply a natural? I glance around the room. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Surya looks amazed. Yuri has intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, 
Monica finishes the recital. What about Nasuki? Was she just not there? <laughs> or something like I don't get that. Why why did you just cut air out like that? But okay, whatever. The four of us apl applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That 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 was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I was just hoping to get a good exa set a good example. Are you ready to go next, sorry, uh, Siori? I'll or I'll go next. Okay, back the fuck up, bitch. My turn. All right, I got the biggest boobs here. Deal with it. Okay. Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Give me a head, that, and she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri's uh, anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It it it's called. After image of a crimson eye, Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets pa uh, gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens to, uh, when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp symbolisms, symbol, uh, s s syllable of words. What a furious and confident woman. Furious? That's not furious, is it? It's fear. I can't. I don't, I've just woken up, alright? And my mind has just gone, Ugh. All Alright, it's mush. Alright, let me hear on. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she. Fuck off with these huge words, game. You're doing this purposely to annoy me. Uh, and now do you quit with perfect timing? <laughs> I think that's right. Okay. Uh, this must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's been whittled, even herself. Be whittled? That wasn't be whittled. I don't, I don't know. Leave me alone. Uh, it's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me in afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we don't want to applaud for her, but we have just we were just caught off so, so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was surprisingly fucking amazing, like whew. Maybe tingle a little bit down the spine, you know what I mean? Thank you for sharing. It's okay, don't worry about it. Uh, looks like Yuri's down for the count. <laughs> okay, it was like one of them knockout punches you take from Tekken. K.O. I guess I'm next then. Siri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Medio M M Meadow. I, I I got that I think. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Siori, get on with it, yeah, dungle it. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? <laughs> Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your or in your own head. It's pro your poem, so it'll come out the best the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sarah begins her poem. Somehow it feels like where a soft voice was made a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery, cheery like Siri is. It's sad and bare sweet. If I were to read out this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Siri's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Siri meant when she says... Uh, Monica, no, yeah, Siri meant when she says she likes my poems. It's like I get to, I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew, thought, the and the through and through. Siri f uh, finishes and we applaud. I did it, I did it. You, you good job, Siri. You want a cookie? Here's a cookie. Yeah, here's a fiver as well. Go get some Mountain Dew. Um, <laughs> uh, even Big Tip Five liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Siri. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But 
it might be the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where the sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you are reading. Oh, oh, I, I know what you mean. Well, that's, well, uh, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okie dokie. Now, who's next? Azuki? <laughs> don't make me go before Big Dick 5. I'm not, it's not like I am, um, I can compare to you guys or anywhere. Might as well let Big Dick 5 lower everyone's standards. <gasps> Bloody hell, Nazuki, you're just straight roasting me, but standards are a little bit, uh, a little before I have to do it. Nazuki, it's fine, it's fine. My poems are absolute dog wank anyway, so it's all good. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a, of a selection of what to read. So I'll just have to go with what I wrote today. I stand up and step in front of the poem. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly comfortable in my own writing, it, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I've finished, I receive an applaud anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. Uh, that's something that I'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That's just uh, that just leaves you in Azuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I'm going, I'm going. Get uh, get out of my face. I'm going. Uh Nazuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called uh, it's called Why you are looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Nazuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, she, uh, her sore attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little enthusiastic. Unthu... Unthus... I don't even fucking know. This. I, I, don't, I think that was, uh, that was off, but her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's, it's Nazuki's trademark style. And it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving it life to the poem. Nazuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do this again. Well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it comes when it just when it comes my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's the surprise, Azuki. I thought it would be the other way around. Well, that's just how it is, so yeah, some people do get a little bit more embarrassed around their friends than they do around them strangers. They find it easier to talk to strangers and be goofy around strangers than they do with mates. Personally, I, I'm, I'm just goofy with everyone, so it don't really apply to me. Uh, well, well, I guess in that case, you have much to worry about about for the for the festival. That said, I want to ask, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's going is it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let everyone let me know ahead of time what you will be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find something, uh, some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. Uh, I'm already ple pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. <laughs> no problem. Oh god, the music changed. Okay, everyone, I think that's about it for today. 
I know the festival's coming up, but uh, let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been it's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, well, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have to we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. Okay. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to finish the same. I find the same enthusiasm as Sierra and Monica. I have to do my best to get through it. This for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Don't have to do my best. I don't even care about Monica that much. Sierra is more of my, my my girl, you know what I mean? But whatever. Ready to go, Sierra? Yup. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. It's just, it must be a little nice, though. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Big Dick Five, you don't have to say it. Whatever, whatever let's call already. See you later, guys. Out, peace out, bitches. I woke home with Siri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have our, uh, have already changed. But today Siri has been a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Siri. Yep, what's, what's up? Sorry, I was spacing out. She okay? Ah, no wonder. <laughs> I, w I was thinking about something from Ellie. I, I like how we get to. Um, I mean, Siri fumbles with her words. So, let, uh, let's just say that one day Yuri asked you to walk in with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Obviously, I'd walk in with you, Siri. <laughs> Duh. Uh, Siri, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh. But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I would never ruin that for you. You're so silly, Big Dick Five. You think about me way too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so. Sir, sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. <laughs> sorry. Besides, what's the point in uh, speculating something that will never going to happen? Um, the conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Siri to care about so much. But I want to respect her and keep her happy. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Hey, yeah, who knows what will happen in that time, eh? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have a poem. Okay. Um, so, obviously, we're going to go with your. Uh, not Yuri. Um, we're going to go with the girl, the girl Yuri again. Not Yuri. Not, not Yuri. Sayori. <laughs> Sick. Uh, play. Fun. Okay. Um. Loud. Um. Oh god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you don't know. Milk, okay. Uh. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. This is gonna go between the suit and the suit. I don't want that. Okay. Charm. Awesome. Uh, adventure, beauty, shit, oh fuck, well I think, I think I got more, uh, Siori than, than that, uh, oh man, I'm the last one here again, don't worry, I just walked into, were you preparing, uh, practicing piano again, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 
you must have have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up a piano. I don't think she picks up the piano, but I mean, she could be Super Hulk. Uh, you never know. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess pit, uh, passion. Remember that that club. Uh, remember that the club wouldn't be here if if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that we're all right, uh, willing to help out for the club, for the festival too. Aha! I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Uh, weren't you complaining about it yes just yesterday, Nazuki? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part in the festival, but it's a whole day of school where you get to play and eat all, uh, play all, all play and eat all kinds of delicious foods. You sound a little bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid's actually surprisingly nice. Um, I had it not long back and it was actually like... Just saying. It's a little hard to get out of the clown. You have to like spoon it out. Uh, well, the one I did anyway. The one I had, I did anyway. I just like detach it with a spoon kind of and then just... Go, That's chewy. You're chewing on it for like a good 10 minutes but... It's, it's nice. Um, anyway, squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Uh, one second, let me just check I'm recording. Yes, I am. Okay, that's... Right, sorry, I have to check every now and again because my PC just stops sometimes. So, uh... Oh, uh, come on. Am I... Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. And besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it, it rings in your name. Monica. Okay. <laughs> That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just focus on our event for the on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions are as fun as Yuri's or uh, Siri's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Yuri anyway? Uh, there, there you are. Siri is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Siri. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. Can you go talk to everyone else? No, you can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Siri shows off a big smile. Is it fake, though? Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright, if you say so. I worryingly glare, uh, glance at Siri before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation is already spared, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Siri recently. Uh, since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. <laughs> I timidly approach Monica, who is uh, stuffing. Stuff. Oh my god, I got a runny nose. One sec. Shuffling through some paper at our desk. Big Day 5. Hey, what's up, boy? Get your pants down. Trousers down? Okay. Uh, hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into this a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across, uh, peers across the room, peers across the room of Siri, who is diligently dragging a, a rubber eraser up and down her desk. All right, so that's definitely not Siri at all. Well, it could be. She could just put like a happy act on for us, and that could actually be her, because it seems like she's letting her depression for a little bit at school. Because that's obviously what I'm going with here. I'm still assuming that she has depression from them poems. So, I mean, we might get another hint of it from today's poem as well. So, 
uh, maybe there is something on our mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one. Uh, I'm not the one asking you, Big Five. You certainly know a lot of, uh, her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She always uh, she she's always talking to me about things that bother her. But this time when I asked her, she just was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll, I'll drop it now. No, no, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about what the well-being of my club members, you know? Uh, maybe I'll try talking to her myself. <laughs> Are you sure about that? She, seem, she seems like she, she wants to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just have, having a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Big Dick Five. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? That was kind of obvious, mate. Just if you wasn't so blinded about your child by your childhood friendship, you'd see the clear signs that she gives you. But anyway, uh, well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Siri talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's been so much happier since ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on in her. What? No way. Shuri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's it's not any different now that I've that I, it, uh, that it than it has always been. Uh, you're so funny, Big Dick Five. What was funny about that? <laughs> Have you ever thought that maybe you've always seen her as? so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you oh fuck yeah i think he's realized <sighs> i said too much i'm sorry what do i do uh, what do i know anyway i didn't mean to jump to conclusions so uh, just forget i said anything about it i'll try to talk to her so i'm not going to i'll try to talk to her so try not to think about it, it for now uh -huh. all right Monica smiles meaningly, uh, meaning, meaningfully, yeah, meaningfully. Uh, I know she said to forget about it, but I already know what that. I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Sierra is sitting. I watch her kneel that down next to Sierra and gently talk to her, but she keeps her voice so quiet that I can't hear from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siori talks, uh, told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of order, uh, out of um, ordinary. Oh, I can't fucking say the word. Unordinarily. But there is nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay. Monica. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I knew it, everyone is back to normal. Monica goes to receive the poem, and so do I. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Siori. Hey, okay. Alright, we're gonna. Obviously, we're gonna start off with Siori again. <laughs> this is the best one so far. I really, re it's really, really nice, Big Dick Five. Yeah, uh, thanks. Um, Siri, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Eh, uh, of course, everything is fine. Maybe I'll just a little tired today. Uh, do you want to nap or something? Nah, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Big Five, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing a poem like like the way Yuri does. Or even Nasuki. But in the end, yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? Why don't... You don't want to get closer with everyone, any, everyone else? Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I, don't, I, I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Siri. I know 
you have to you have to sometimes put your put up with me and I have to sometimes put up with you but we have a wavelength of something and this is how the po and this is how the poem came out sometimes it feels like you're the one exciting the only exciting thing in my life so sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you Sorry. No, no, Big Geek 5, I don't deserve this, you're too nice to me, why are you doing this? Siri has, Siri has uh, trouble keeping her voice steady, uh, steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Siri, I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Siri, I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Siri shakes her head. She sniffs and keeps her head down. Oh, not keeps her head. Shakes her head, sorry. Finally, she gathers, uh, she gathers herself and pulls a smile. Puts on a smile. It's nothing, Big D5. It's just a little rain cloud. Yeah, I think she suffers from depression, guys. It's blatant obvious. Uh, someone, I, I'm someone that can pull out a depression. Someone that suffers depression easily. Um, it's common feelings for me as well. But and um, anyway, uh, I'm sure you had to do the same thing. I, I'm sorry you had to do to see that. I promise it, it won't happen again. Just smile for everyone, okay? That's all it that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit earlier today. Sorry. Uh, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Siori cheerfully walks out of the room classroom and humming to herself. Okay. Alright, well, let's, let's see Monica's. Hi, Big Five, how are you doing? Uh, have you thought about what you want to want to submit to perform at the at the festival? Well, being in this club is more thing is is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more time, more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me it would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take take a look at the poem today. Poems today. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Aha. It's kinda of funny. So how so? No, not not the poem. I mean it's funny how your poems and Siri poems have been getting more and more similar to each to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been uh, spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess I, I you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past few years. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me about how Siri's been a little bit off today. Yeah? Did she tell you something? Ah, uh, well, Big Deep 5, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright, well, just making sure I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so so keep an eye on her. Alright, sure thing. Well, if, if she opens up to us and tells us that why she's feeling depressed, or she's feeling down, then event you know obviously we'll have to be there. That's just kind of the character we are, and it's if if if, if we have the choice to do that, I'm not. I'm definitely gonna choose to be there for her because that's just my thing. That's just how I personally would do things. Uh, siri has been actually much happier ever since you joined the club. What would what would have happened all of a sudden? Not a clue. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, a li the lady who knows everything. An old lady, an old tale tells of an il a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, all that ha uh, was ever s sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost the drift, the sky is victim of the uncurrent of the wind. Of the current of the currents of the wind. 
day after day I search. I search with little hope knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all other, other others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimming, uh, glimmering in the in the sky. I'm just gonna skip that word. Until one day the wind curses, curses, uh, ceases to blow. I fall, I fall, and fall even, even more gently as a feather and dry quiver expression, expressionless. But a hand catches me before the the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which am amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath she blows me back a float. And I pick up a gust of wind. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've not been up for long or not, but I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't see a deeper meaning behind it. I mean, I'm sure it's plain obvious, but my mind's just like, no, you know, you're not allowed to think today, Rob. We're just not allowed. Uh, but anyway, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Well, I guess she's going to explain it to us anyway. Not to be so philosophical or anything. But kind of what my mind... It's kind of on my mind, so that's what I worry about. I see. I never really put much thought into it anyway. In a way, I almost... Paradoxical. It's almost paradoxical. Because if we had any, all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's there's one thing I've noticed. I noticed it seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about something that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans are too are too different. Uh, aren't two dimensional creatures? I think I think you'd know that better than anyone. I mean, one-dimensional. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's t writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that no, it's not that good? To be really dishearten disheartening, to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then share because uh, it becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling, uh, uh, telling you that your answer, your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to focus more on, ev on everything that went into it, and the things you can you wrote about work on. Sorry, it's much more encouraging that way, and it makes you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, Monica. Whatever, whatever suits your boat. Sorry, let's go in a suki. Uh, this one's all right. All right. Well, yeah, about about as good as yesterday's anyway. I see that. Uh, I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotional, and invested into your poems anyway? Into my poems anyway. Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, gross. It's not like that, I can't... Uh, I just... It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slack, slacking off, really. Well, if you ended up just scaring me anyway. That's, um, it's, it's not like you would actively do that. Yeah, you, you're right. The fuck is going on in that room? No fucking clue. If you can hear any background noises, I don't have a clue what's going on in that room, but there's like a load of showering. So, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. But anyway, yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out there. Out, out here. Even if I had to put, uh, put up with you. Right, so, um, 
stupidly I clicked my my hotkey to stop recording but uh, we didn't get too far we literally just got to the poem so it was like three or four lines but um before I noticed anyway so sorry about that but anyway let's let's just read the poem uh, I'll be your beach your mind is full of trouble uh, troubles and fears that diminishes your wind wonder of the years but today I have a special place a beach for us to go a shore, a shore re uh, reaching beyond your sight. Excuse me. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will me uh, melt away before the sunny glow. Uh, I'll be the beach. I'll be the beach that that washes your woes away. I'll be the beach that your daydream, your daydreams that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. Uh, in a way. Through uh, thought, through had left you long ago. Thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a in in a piles of sand. I bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. I wish your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you your you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint uh, footprint trail. And set you free in your in your uh, set you free in my windly sail, and remember that the reasons are that the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to okay uh, <laughs> to mine. Uh, I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way in a way through you had left in the way you thought that had left you a lot long ago. But if you let me by your side, I'll uh, your own beach, your own escape. You learn to love yourself again. I'm I'm really struggling to see the the meaning behind these poems here. Like, I'm trying. I, I'm generally trying, but I'm really struggling to see that. Uh, yeah. Um. It, it's like I keep writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Was it for us? Is she saying that she wants to be by our side or some shit? I don't. I really don't get it. Kind of hard to write. <clears throat> kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with a message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of were about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic. And have us both write about it or whatever. Uh, you can really see her do, uh, doing that too, making us write a simple topic and trying to press me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's something wrong with doing that once is once in a while. Nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it's a good practice. It was good practice. Who should I show my poem to next? Oh, I don't know. I mean, there is. I'll do. It. I guess I'll do it, with Yuri. Uh, I see. I think you you're improving at writing in gentle. Is uh, is in general generally? I think I said, but I can't help but feel a little bit foolish. Eh, what for? Just I feel like I keep trying to offer advice when it should be clear to me that you put that you prepare a different writing style. I probably just sound sounded arrogant. I'm so stupid. Yuri, that's a little no no, you, you don't understand. I spend so much time worrying about what's better and what's worse. Not just with you. With Nasuki and Siori. Is oblivious now why nobody has fun when talking to me. Obvious now, sorry. That's not that's not that's not true. That's not true, Yuri. At all. And because of that, I just keep my mouth shut because of your about your poem. No, come on, giving me advice. That's not that's not no, don't feel like that. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh Yuri buries her head into her arms on the desk. That's not the first time I've seen her doing that. I don't think it's ever ever as bad as you make it sound in your head. I think if people really don't like talking to you, then it would be a lot more obvious. I know what that you like to read deeply into things, but some things are just worth talk, taking a, uh, a face 
a face of vol value. I don't fucking know what that's said. I'm reading this way too fast for my brain to process, to be honest. Uh, I just... I, I've gotten so used to it that it's hard for me to comprehend any other possibility. I've gotten used to what? Reading deeply into things? Being disliked? Yeah. So she's kind of the bullied girl, I guess. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. I never meant to bring this up. Yuri turns away from me. You should go. Eh? Please. Please don't let it look at me right now. I want to do something. I want to do some thinkings. Are you sure? Yuri nods. Alright. I'll leave Yuri be. I am confronting or reassuring her is, is nearly impossible as, as it is. So when she wants to be alert, I think and I think anything I say could only make things worse. I feel bad, but thankfully she doesn't talk, take it out on me. I'll wait until she's feeling a bit better. We didn't even read her poem. Okay, maybe she's just actually generally upset about some shit. Maybe we're not giving her enough time. But then again, she has no reason to be a, like to like me because I've put no time in with her. So yeah. I mean, she could have, like, one of them just little crushes. You know, where you look at someone, you go, Fuck me. You know what I mean? But that's that's about it, really. She couldn't have, like, any emotional connection to me. Anyway, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Uh, why don't we start fig uh, figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did something, uh, some, something, something strange just happen right now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual that's right you diverted from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase jeez why is this mood so weird today why is the mood so weird today look even Yuri is, is isn't immune to it um, uh, stagnant in air is common foreshadowing that Something terrible is about to happen. Stage name, sorry. Um, in your books, maybe. Look, the only difference is that Sierra isn't here. Eh? Uh, it seems you're alright. <sighs> Sierra always helps listening, uh, lighten, uh, lightening the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Mizuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Nah, no, she actually wasn't feeling too well, so she went home. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh -huh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind, of, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Uh huh. That's curiously, that curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out all the rest. Ah, oh, so just straight ignored my question. Anyway, we need to figure out out the rest of the festival preparations. So. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Already, I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Nizuki will be making cupcakes. Might, uh, but we might need a lot, a lot of them and different flavors. You can, you can handle that by yourself, Nizuki. Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all of the prior, uh, poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be helping me design them. As for you, Yuri. Uh, you, you can, um, uh, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm, I'm useless. No, just, just fucking no, stop being all, like, down. I guess it's actually kind of just, like, your thing, but still, lighten up. <laughs> I'm being a right asshole right now, I can't, I mean, she can't lighten up, it's just, she's kind of down. But anyway, hey, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. <laughs> Now, now Nizuki pounding too. Great. Jeez, I can't even tell now. I guess I never give Siri enough credit, but I can only tell things are 
even harder on you when she's not around. <laughs> that may be the case. But if I can't if I can't also be a leader on my own on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make uh, you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? To ask about the voice break there. That was that was totally uh, planned. Um, anyway, about that, I I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, let's just, that just leaves you, Big League Five. The one who is truly useless. Haha, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Mizuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go along well to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are you going to respond to, su to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you could... Even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirt work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a, any, give me a choice. Going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Nizuki tried mumbling a bunch of excuses like, um, if I recall Nizuki, you mentioned that you wouldn't like, you'd like to handle the bacon on your own. Oh, Yuri, you want in the D? Uh, Big Blue 5 may not like to be around you if you're only making him a nuisance, out to be a nuisance. So therefore, maybe he might be suited to address, uh, assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? To be honest, it's a lot of fun, but it's not that hard. Uh, sounds more like you just making excuses for Big Dick 5 too. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you learning? <laughs> Sorry, that's just the thing that came into mind. It'd be extremely uh, word work. And baking isn't. Baking's a lot harder than making decorations, that I can, I can say. And I can't bake for shit. I can make decorations, but I can't break. But, um, just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. And, and I think it's up to Big Dick 5 to decide how he'll like to, spend, to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me, you know? So, I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, like, literally, they're all, they're all, like, gagging for it, aren't they? Holy shit. Am I just, like, a little symbol of hope for them or some shit? Uh, I was just saying that. Jeez. Can we just settle things already? Yeah. Big Dick 5, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Of course. Huh. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks, uh, looks straight at me. Uh, Sayori, I'm gonna help Sayori. I, I mean, she didn't offer it, off that, offer that she needed any help, but yeah, well, I'll help her. If it's going to be anyone, then I'd prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said, Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No, no, no. Sorry, uh, sorry, I didn't mean that. For, mean for this to be difficult. Um, I mean, I don't really. I don't really interact with them too much. I'm kind of interested in why Monica breaks the fourth wall so much. I mean, I get what these two are, kind of. And I get that they're going through their own separate things, but I haven't really got any of Monica's backstory. And I've got little bits of her. She's bullied and she, no one likes her that much. Uh, so she cuts to try um, numb the, the pain inside, I guess. Um, because that's why most people cut, I think, to try and numb, like, feelings, and it, it, like, makes the pain go from there to there, and, yeah. Um, and then we know that she's trying to do some of, Nizuki's trying, like, going through some of it, and she's trying to escape it, but she can't escape it, so she's, like, deciding whether to give up or not. But, Monica, we know fuck, no, we know nothing about, so I'm kind of interested in Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. 
Yay, you picked me. Hold on one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs needs the least help of us all. Uh, but I, I agree with Nozuki. Not only is your work already most suited for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Big Dick 5 was the one who... Uh, that doesn't matter. You are the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives in interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you searing, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with the ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't be ha uh, have been made in such a big deal in the first place. That's completely fault. It no, no, no. Yuri, she is actually completely right. Um, <laughs> she is completely right. You are, you are. Like, it, it wouldn't have been such a big deal what I decide to help with if, if I was given all such, an, given all three as, as an option, um, and I picked one over the other. It just, it's, it's. You are making it bigger, a bigger deal than it, it should have been. Now that's completely false, Monica. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't be as good as for a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. Think of the club. <laughs> if we want our event to succeed, we need to... Uh, pro uh, I can't read. Appro appropriately dispute our resources. Um, uh, so are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. It technically most logical for Big Dick Five to help one of you two, so I guess that would. Oh for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking women. <laughs> okay. All right, so decorations would be fun because I already know how to do them. Obviously, I'm not going to be making actual decorations, and if I go with Nazuki, I'm not going to actually be baking. But I'm just trying to think which one would I personally enjoy more. Um, baking can be fun, I guess. Um, I'm not really much of a baker myself, though. Like, I do enjoy some good buns, and that is about it. Uh, and decorations, I, I do like to do a lot of drawing and stuff. I mean, you've probably tell them by speed arts that I've been posting. Uh, I literally love drawing. It's especially on the PC. It's like one of my favorite things to do at the moment. So I think I'm gonna go with the decorations. Just because it's what I personally enjoy help doing mostly more. M me? Are you serious? Why would you, Nazuki? I can already tell you're probably about to say something mean. No, no. I was just saying. Uh, so you'll be helping Yuri then, Big Dig Five. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assi uh, assistance will be very useful. But that's great to hear. Nizuki, will you be able to handle this, the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I, I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell Nizuki is feeling a little sour. Um, so is, is that everyone? everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Fuck yeah, cause I'm excited. Well, exactly may not be the right word. Fuck me. I mean, I'm sure if, sure if I offered, you probably would. Um, <laughs> but I, I suppose I'm looking forward to it a bit. Uh, do you feel the same way, Big Deal 5? Me? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. Right, well, this episode's... I've been recording for 20 minutes now, and the other the other part of it, I was recording to like, for like 48. So this is about an hour and 10 minutes already. So... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed part four, then uh, yeah, go ahead and smash a like on it, guys. Going into part five, uh, which will be the preparations for the club, I guess. So yeah, part five, guys. Uh, I'll see you all in the next part. Peace. <laughs>